I hope you guys are all having a productive day. Easy auto fix here, and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad tie rod. The purpose of the tie rods is to transfer power from the rack and pinion or the power steering box to the wheels, allowing them to turn left and right. Most cars have a rack and pinion design nowadays. The inner tie rods will be connected to the rack and pinion, while the outer tie rods will be connected to the steering knuckle right behind the wheels. Most last from 80 to 100,000 miles. The first symptom of a bad tie rod is steering wheel free play. You'll be able to turn the steering wheel a couple of inches before the wheels actually move. This happens if the inner or outer tie rods wear out internally, creating a larger space in the socket. At times, you could also feel the steering wheel shake when going over bumps. The second symptom you could be experiencing is vibration while driving. You'll feel the vibration get worse as you increase speed. This can happen if the tie rods start to wear out, creating back and forth motion when driving. In some situations, you might encounter steer wander, meaning your car pulls to the left or the right on its own. The third symptom is uneven tire wear. You'll notice some parts of the front tires being more worn out than the others. Worn tire rods will create back and forth motion causing the tires to wobble slightly. This will get worse if you continue driving with defective tire rods. The fourth symptom is a torn rubber casing. When this happens, the grease escapes, allowing dirt and moisture to enter. This prevents the tie rods from working properly. The fifth symptom of a bad tie rod is hearing a clunky noise. You could hear it when turning your vehicle left or right. Clunky noise can appear if the inner or outer tie rod is worn out. Now some of these symptoms can be similar to other suspension components, so make sure to inspect and diagnose carefully. If you have a creaky noise when going over bumps, check this video out right here. 